Greetings. My name is Bruce, and this is the first of a series of videos explaining downhole tubing disposal. Downhole tubing disposal is used in oil and gas wells during abandonment to reduce costs significantly. What's pictured here is what we call a vertical cutter, which uses plumber's cutting wheels to slice production tubing within the casing so that the production tubing can be moved out of the way and cement plugs can be set. Such cutting wheels are used worldwide every day by plumbers and pipe cutters to slice everything from soft copper to stainless steel, which is equivalent to, say, duplex in an oil and gas well. What's shown here is a deployment method for these proven cutting wheels, whereby the wheels are extended against the inside diameter of the tubing and the tool is lifted upwards and lowered downwards via slick line to cut a vertical slice in the tubing. Slicing the tubing makes it easy to push a whole piece of tubing into a split piece of tubing so as to provide a space to place a cement abandonment plug. Oil and gas wells generally have 9 and 5 8 inch production casing or smaller which has an internal diameter of eight and a half inches or 216 millimeters. Forming a good abandonment plug generally requires placing at least 100 feet or 30 meters of good cement. Oil and gas wells start with a relatively large well bore and large casings, but as you drill deeper you wish to protect the hole that you've already drilled. So you set casing and then you set further casing within casing. So the diameter of the well bore and the diameter of the casing decreases as you drill deeper. By the time you get to the reservoir, the well bore is relatively small, and generally speaking, only eight and a half inches or smaller in diameter. Placing a cement abandonment plug generally requires placing at least 100 feet or 30 meters of cement. When using an inaccurate placement method, it's often good to place more cement so that you ensure that you have at least 100 feet or 30 meters of good cement. A column of cement 100 feet or 30 meters high with a diameter of 8.5 inches or 216 millimeters is roughly equivalent to 5.5 drums of cement. An abandonment plug for an oil and gas well is therefore equal to about five and a half 55 gallon drums of cement. The question then becomes, how much do you want to pay to place five and a half drums of cement? Let's face facts. Placing cement down a hole is not rocket science. You don't need to be a genius to figure that out. So how much does it cost? This is a conventional oil and gas cost structure for well intervention. Lighter to heavier intervention classes are on the vertical scale, and lower to higher cost intervention methods are on the horizontal scale. The oil and gas UK type 1 intervention uses the lightest and lowest cost equipment, which is slick line. Slick line uses wire to lift and lower equipment within a well and can be operated by about three or four people. The cost of placing an abandonment plug with slick line and pumps can be measured in thousands per drum of cement, which is at the lower end of the cost scale, but also is the most environmentally friendly and safest way to abandon an oil and gas well. In order of preference, the second most environmentally friendly, safest, and lowest cost method for abandoning an oil and gas well is coiled tubing. Like slick line, coiled tubing is spooled and has a smooth surface, which can provide a pressure seal so that both slick line and coiled tubing can be run into and pulled from a well under pressure. This makes it safer because the existing barriers on the well can be left in place and work can take place with a reduced risk of losing pressure control. 
the cost of coil tubing can be measured in tens of thousands per drum of abandonment cement. Hydraulic workover units, which can lift tubing out of the well, similar to a drilling rig, comprise the second Type 2 oil and gas UK abandonment meet. Like a drilling rig, a hydraulic workover involves a lot of equipment, and you must remove the existing barriers from the well and work open hole. Unless, of course, you go for snubbing operations, which can be more expensive than using a drilling rig. Consequently, the cost of placing five and a half drums of cement with a hydraulic workover unit and pumps can cost hundreds of thousands per drum. Which brings us to type three and four oil and gas UK abandonments, which use a drilling rig and can involve 50 to 100 people during the abandonment. Obviously, drilling rigs are the preferred option of drilling engineers, drilling superintendents, and drilling managers. But unfortunately, the cost of placing five and a half drums of cement with a drilling rig can involve millions per drum of cement. Fortunately, for those who don't rely entirely upon the opinion of a drilling superintendent or a drilling engineer, have the opportunity to use slick line or coil tubing to pay thousands per drum of cement or tens of thousands per drum of cement instead of millions per drum of cement. The problem is that the industry standard has changed. Here are the 2012 Oil and Gas UK guidelines, and clearly you can see that the tubing can be left within the casing. It is equally clear that in the 2015 Oil and Gas UK guidelines, that the tubing has been removed and it's no longer acceptable to leave it within the casing. This change effectively removes the option to use slick line or coil tubing and pushes all abandonment means towards hydraulic workovers and drilling rigs. Fortunately, our method of downhole tubing disposal uses conventional slick line and coil tubing to remove the tubing from within the casing and meet the new guidelines and spend thousands and tens of thousands per drum of abandonment cement using slick line coil tubing and pumps instead of spending hundreds of thousands and millions per drum of abandonment cement to use a hydraulic workover or drilling rig. Thank you for listening. That concludes this short video describing the benefits of using our method of downhole tubing disposal. Please continue watching the rest of our videos which describe in detail how this is done. Thanks again.